Good day, I'm Rochelle Leduc, Ambassador for Women's Potential, and today is my interview day. And I have the pleasure and the honor of having with me Caroline Rochon. Caroline is a phenomenal woman. Wait till you hear her. I know you're going to love her. She's a woman from the heart. And uh, we have been um, connected for quite a while. We've known each other since 2007, something like that. And we've been doing, uh, working together and creating stuff together. She's been there for me with all, her, all my projects and ideas. She's been supporting me forever. And that's why I want you to meet her because I know that with her words and wisdom, she will be able to inspire you. So, bonjour Caroline. Bonjour. Hello. We're both French. Yes. <laughs> Frenchie here. <laughs> so, Caroline, uh, thank you so much for being here with me doing this interview. I'm really happy to have the honor of introducing you to uh, my uh, community, my people, my women. <laughs> yes, it's my pleasure. As you know, we've been doing so many things together that um, I always feel very inspired about what you do and all the stuff that you do for all the women. Uh, I think you have extraordinary qualities. Uh, some that we share, some that we, we are very different in so many matters and then but I think our our main goal is always to empower and inspire women and so it's a pleasure for me. And the values. The values. We have the same values. Yes, yes we yeah. do. Yeah. So tell um tell us a bit about yourself, because I know that you come from far. Like she she has a uh, yeah, an interesting uh, background, let's put it this way. <laughs> it's very hard to condense everything into 10 minutes, but uh, uh, for sure, I think um, if I wanted to leave the, the listeners and the viewers with a, a message is to um, don't always follow what the normal path should be. Okay. Uh, feel your heart. Um, I know that, you know, I... You know, never knew what I wanted to be when I grew up. Um, went to university, different jobs, and mm -hmm. changed a lot. Always thought I came from a different planet because I felt always so different. Talking about that, you know, one of my ex boyfriend I have to tell you this, said to me, you know, Rachel, men come from Mars and women from Venus, but you, you come from a total different solar system. <laughs> and I said, thank you very much. So it's not a compliment, mm -hmm. but still, thank you. <laughs> Well, I think that's the thing. So and I think you can relate to that, eh? I can, because I think we, we, we are a little bit pathfinders and trailblazers. Yes. We, we, we go down different roads that most people do. But I did take the road that I was supposed to take and get married, try to have kids, mm. which I did for 10 years, had multiple miscarriages, mm. had a job I didn't like, blew up to 215 pounds. Yeah. Um, and then just hit a wall in depression and then just stayed home. On those days where I couldn't do anything except eat and watch television, yeah, I saw those shows on uh, decluttering your home and getting organized, mm -hmm. and I figured, okay, I think they're talking to me. So slowly, I started to eliminate anything in my life that was surrounding me that didn't that I didn't love or that didn't inspire me. Okay, and then um, I just realized, hey, if I can get organized, other people can too. Um, and, and that just set me on this path of being a professional organizer, um, part-time in 2005, and then got full-time in 2007. Mm -hmm. Been on television, radio, been a spokesperson for a uh, national product. So that, you know, just brought me to another level. Mm -hmm. And then I just got excited and then said, okay, I need... I realized it's not about the stuff, it's about what's going on between the two ears. Went yes. for some coaching, so became a coach, and then got involved with Jack Canfield's work, the co-creator of all the chicken soup. And he's so amazing. He's, he's amazing. amazing. Like he's so principles, like yeah, yeah. So then it just sent me um, to another path, mm -hmm. and uh, got divorced in 2011, or separated, and yeah. been through uh, a rape not long after, drugged and raped in a bar, and it all comes back to choices. And I, you know, one of my speaking is about the power of choosing. And mm -hmm. For me, you know, you can't change what the events are. But now the next morning, it was all about I choose to live on a path of love and joy now from every day, and it's changed my life completely and changed my career as a speaker and trainer and traveled the world. That's what I was gonna say. It took you all around the world. Yeah, you then know, TED talks in India, and then. Uh, uh, United States, Mexico a few times, and uh, it's just brought me to this 
other, other level, other game, uh, which is having me kind of restart my business. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'm you know, back to having fears and uncertainty, which I didn't have as much as before. Mm -hmm. But it's all about embracing those fears and, and moving forward. Yeah, and you're so, you're so right about the choice. Because when you, you had this bad thing that happened to you, mm -hmm. if you would have played the victim, yeah. and if you would say, poor me, and oh my God, and feel sorry for yourself, yeah. you would not have done everything that you have done after. Oh, no. You would probably be home depressed at two, not 2.15, but 2.50. Oh, okay. yeah, <laughs> most definitely. That, you know? Yeah. But yeah. you chose to go with the love, yeah. you know, and to, to forgive. Yeah, and, and, and you know, the things are when things happen, you, you can't change them. No, it, it's about how do you choose to live and experience. How are you going to deal with it? How are you going to deal with it? And for me, it was the best decision I made because it was like I didn't want to live with anger and I no. didn't want to live with fear. I wanted to live on the path of love and joy, and which completely transformed my life because I was making those choices. And I think the most important thing is to, the gift behind all of that as well is to learn to love myself. Mm. Yes. Because all of that happened like a few weeks after my separation and my divorce. So it's yes. finding myself on my own and then learning who am I and who is my true authentic self. Um, because I didn't really, I used to act before because when I was young, you know. Yeah, we wear all kinds of masks and we pretend and we want to be like the society says we should be. Yes, or you know, when mm -hmm. we tried to be who we wanted to be, people said, you know, you know. Yes. Calm down. Oh yes. Don't dream too big. Shut up. Realistic. All shut that. up. Stop, stop talking. Oh yeah. And then the government. Oh, no. don't rock the boat. Just shut yes. up. And, yeah. Just yeah. push the paper. Yes. Exactly. Which I couldn't do anymore. So no. this allowed me to really, you know, dig deep. Uh, yeah, lots of days where there was a lot of darkness, but uh, through that emerged who I am now, and I'm completely happy with. Who I am and where I'm going. I'm excited. Well, of course, there's so many things going on. So you are a, a professional speaker. So you yes. travel wherever they yes. need you. Yeah. Um, and you, both official languages. And both of yeah. <laughs> both. both. <laughs> and you are a trainer, so you yes. will give training. And you work a lot with Jack Canfield. Yeah. I'm yes. assistant on his team. I'm actually leaving right now to to do that. And I have a partnership. Yes, with Dr. White and Dr. Chapman on right now. I just have the French book, but it also exists in English, which is the Five Language of Appreciation in the Workplace. Mm. And for me, it was just that desire to how do I get in the corporate world? Yes, to transform teams and organizations to a more of a heart-based culture where we're not talking about employees anymore. We're talking about human beings. Mm. And a human being, when they feel valued and appreciated, yes. they will perform. They will be loyal. Um, the, you know, the morale will increase. Um, so this concept is so easy. It's so easy. It doesn't cost any money. Um, so you can either buy the book or have me come in and do a training for the group. But uh, mm -hmm. it's amazing what it does and how it transforms a, a team and an organization. So it doesn't matter if you have a big team of 20 or a team of five. Yeah. You still need that. Oh, for sure. Because it's it's like the language of love, right? Exactly. It's, like language of love. it's based on the book, The Five Love Languages, okay. which sold over like eight, nine million copies yes. of the book. And everybody kept saying to Dr. Chapman, um, we're incorporating this into the workplace. And okay. because he's a family therapist, he said, well, I can't validate if it's, if it's, if it's good or not. Okay. So that's where he uh, enrolled with Dr. Paul White, who's a psychologist in the okay. workforce. And so he did his okay. research, all of that, and then they actually approached me to become a certified trainer, but also a partner with them. Uh, so I just got back from Montana, where I gave a training session over there, because now he's in demand. He's more pricey too. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> a more reasonable price. Um, and, and, and basically it's my purpose to just help everybody touch their full potential like you, um, but with this work and Jack's work, and uh, I'm enjoying every minute I get to be in front of people. Oh, I know you, you are. I know, I know you are. <laughs> so if you would have some um, advice to give yourself when you were younger, either when you were a child or when you were 18, 20, mm -hmm. what would be that advice that you would give yourself? It would be not to listen to other people and listen to your heart. So you listen to your heart? <laughs> This is your heart. If you know deep down that that's what you want, doesn't matter if there's a guarantee that you'll succeed or not. 
at least mm. you're never having regrets for following your heart and uh, go for it and surround yourself by inspiring people um, like I was saying um, on the other interview in French it, it's all about once you start decluttering your environment and then you're like okay maybe I should declutter my relationships yes. and then and then surround yourself with people who are going to inspire you empower you who are going to say sure you know even if they don't think it's a good idea they're going to support you because it's not about them it's about you exactly and uh once you start being in the business and all of that i just found all these like mm. people like you and uh we have our differences but it's it's all about that common passion and value to help others and yes. being of service i always say like love your family but choose your friends mm -hmm. and choose the people that you surround yourself with. Your yeah. family is your family. Yeah. Just, just love them. It doesn't matter what they say mm -hmm. or do. Mm -hmm. Love your family, but then choose who's going to be your friends, who's going to be your business partner, mm -hmm. who's that yeah. important. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's it. So this was Catalina Bastrano. As you can see, she is a phenomenal woman. She's very inspiring. You see her coordinates uh, right here. So if uh, you want to contact her, feel free to call her or send her an email. It will be her pleasure to talk with you. She has uh, amazing ideas. She's a great coach. And um, she uh, also still does some decluttering. She does. She, uh, she's very good at that. If you need a speaker, she's phenomenal. She will adjust to uh, whatever you need for your business. And of course, there is the five language uh, of appreciation, uh, of appreciation. In, the workplace. in the workplace. It's a long <laughs> one to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I am Rachel Leduc, Ambassador for Women's Potential, wishing you an amazing week, and I will be talking to you real soon. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you.